Hannah, and hi, <laughs> I'm the founder of the Kaya Method. I want to start by asking you all a few questions. So, does your body tell you when you're hungry? Yes. Does it tell you when you're tired? Yes. Does it tell you when you're hurt? Yes. Does it tell you when you fall in love? Awesome. <laughs> so the real question is, do you listen? Like, do you really listen? And I ask that because most of us don't. And this is the problem. Not listening to the body and the mind-body disconnection is a global epidemic that hinders humanity's growth in numerous ways, three of which I focus on. It hinders the healing of personal, collective, and transgenerational trauma. And it hinders our ability to expand our personal and collective consciousness at the level of embodiment. And it also hinders our ability to connect at the level of our shared humanity, which is why I developed the Kaya Method. And the Kaya Method is a somatic methodology that harnesses the power of dance to transmute trauma expand consciousness and bridge cultures. So we'll start with uh, the first one, healing trauma. So trauma is actually not just primarily stored in the mind, it is stored in our cellular memory in our bodies on a neuropeptide level. So in order to fully transmute trauma, we actually have to work with the body. And secondly, expanding consciousness. When we're in states of embodiment, we actually change our brain frequencies from the beta chatter of the mind to alpha and theta frequencies of understanding, compassion, and deep creativity. So I like to imagine a world where every entrepreneur creates from that space. And the projects that they put out into the world from that space is one of integrity, honesty, and depths of truth. And lastly, cultural bridging is where this all began. Um, I traveled to Oman um, under the Obama administration to bring together American and Omani youth through dance and movement and ritual. And through that, really grew to understand the healing power and potentialities of dance. And I took it to Israel and Palestine, and I worked with the youth there, Israeli and Palestinian youth, bringing them together through art, dance, meditation, um, and I'm a big believer that this is what the world needs, especially among youth, especially in conflict areas in the world. So where I see Kaya in New Zealand um, is facilitating workshops in communities with lots of collective and transgenerational trauma, and also certifying Kaya instructors so they can have the tools to perpetuate that healing and continue that healing uh, far beyond this generation. And I also um, see opening Kaya studio spaces across New Zealand to make uh, dance healing and exploration accessible to the general public and an integrated component of everyday life. And so Kaya works um, with a unique combination of meditation, visualization, intentional dance sequencing, and structured improvisation, all targeting very specific chakras, meridian systems, and brain frequencies. And instead of going further into that on a level of intellect, um, I would love to give you a little taste, like a tiny taste, of <laughs> what Kaya is. So if you would all do me the honor and close your eyes. Sit nice and tall in your chairs. And just take a really deep breath. Two more. And just start to scan the energetic and the physical body. Notice any kind of discomfort, tension, closure, this might be physical pain. It might be emotional angst. 
maybe in the heart or closure in the throat or solar plexus. Just take a moment to feel into the part of your body that is speaking the most loudly to you. And when you've identified it, place the left hand, the receiving hand, on that part of your body that is asking to be acknowledged. Thank you for acknowledging the part of your body that is asking to be heard. And I know it's a really, really, really tiny, tiny taste. I am going to be facilitating a workshop here if um, you guys want to investigate this further. Thank you so much.